Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we just watched uh, Aphasia, which is brought to us by Jerks Productions. It is a full-length uh, feature film. We're very excited that we got early access to it. We can't thank you guys enough. Jerks Productions, you guys rock. We love you so, so very much. And we can't wait to be part of the world premiere <clears throat> on February 7th in Philadelphia as we are going to host the Q&A after the world premiere of this movie. So we are beyond excited for that and very honored that they chose us to help them bring their visionary movie to the rest of the world. So with that being said, let's talk about the movie. So the movie opens with... Uh a scene of, of two fellows coming out of a church and they're just kind of shooting it and, you know, going down the sidewalk where they see someone. They were coming out of, a, I think it was an AA meeting. Was it, it, it not? It, it, I think it was a church, but I don't, I don't know why they were in the church. Though. Yeah. So um, they, they stumble across someone, as you do in the streets of Philly, who maybe doesn't look so great. And they're like, oh, it's not the first time you've seen a drunk guy, but this is no ordinary drunk guy. Uh, this is someone who is demonically possessed, we think, and um, horrible interaction, very scarring, and then shoots to five years later where we get to know our main character, Sarah, who works in a law firm. And you know how you always have that one person in the office that's just like out to get everyone? Well, she's in this movie and... <laughs> it's, and it's very obvious. Yeah. Um, she... <coughs> decides to uh, unleash her vengeance upon, uh, unfortunately, Sarah, and she does end up getting terminated, which leads to her making a very um, life-altering decision, which could have invited something terrible in. And I, I want to leave this as vague as possible. I really want everyone to get, like, the full experience when they, de they do see the full movie, because I felt like there was a lot of things... I wasn't expecting, even from the um, the trailer, I, I wasn't expecting everything that we got, and it was really exciting. It was really fun to watch. There were a lot of laughs in this, which I was very grateful for. And if you want to watch the trailer, we're going to put it down below as a pinned comment, a uh, link to their YouTube channel, which uh, will have their world premiere trailer uh, linked down in the comments for you to enjoy. And then, you know, hopefully we see people there on February 17th to watch the world premiere. So what did you like about the movie? Other than the fact that it was made by friends of ours. I mean, not to be biased, but this movie was so great. Like the pacing was really good. It is, um, I think it was like an hour and 31 minutes and mm -hmm. something, including all the, the credits and everything. But there wasn't really a lot of downtime. There wasn't a lot of time that kind of lulled you into comfort so you were kind of just on edge the entire time just mm -hmm. worrying what was going to happen next which is good i do appreciate that it kept me very tense i'm already a tense person so it just kept me kept me going uh i also really 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 dug the special effects they were great amazing loved them yeah i the special effects were awesome that was the first thing that caught me the other <clears throat> thing is this it didn't look like a low budget movie. Like it didn't look like it was made by like a smaller pro pro uh, production company like Jerks Productions. Um, I like I the story was great. It was I the you had side plots kind of. I feel like they gave us enough background information, like not too little, not too much. Um, I I also love that this was shot in in Philly and I, I, I kept seeing stuff that I like knew so I was very happy about that and I uh, you know it, it like you said the, the pacing was great it kept you like in the movie kind of thing there wasn't really a lot of lulls um, I thought the character development was great um, the happenstance of how the two main characters, Sarah and Bruce, kind of like find each other in it. I thought was very well, well, well written. Kudos to Brandon. Um, and I just, you know, even if this wasn't made by people that we knew, I still would have would say that I really enjoyed this movie. And it's, it's a unique enough story with enough familiarities to other stuff 
and there's a couple little comedic parts that kind of take a shot to other like like you know like famous fa- famous movies which we picked up on Im- immediately you gotta love that the microwave scene <laughs> um so it was like i really enjoyed that um i feel like the acting was really strong too yeah for not having like like a-list actors it would the i the acting was good not even that not just because it's not a bunch of really well-known actors that mm. sometimes I feel like even some of the actors that are popular are not the best, but you've seen them in so many things. And so many times I feel like your mind just kind of conditions you to be like, they're amazing. They're great. Yeah. But the we've never seen these people before. And I thought that they were really you know, wonderful and really put their whole chest into everything, which is awesome. Even the ones we're not supposed to like or the ones where we're kind of like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> They're great. Like, they did a really good job. One of my favorite parts is in one of the di- diner scenes, the pa- the patron in the background with the cell, the cell phone yeah. out. Yeah. Such a natural reaction. Like, like, you know, like, if something, like, crazy happened in, the pu- in public, so you pull out their phone immediately. Yeah, someone's like, just going to be like... <laughs> you're like, oh, look what's going on. Which here. is very accurate to star. this day and age. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's you know that's what I you know that's what I really liked about it, and I can't think of anything I really didn't like about it. There, there's nothing that really stood out to me like this was done poorly. Um, the score was good. I liked. I I liked the music was was good. Um. You know, the religious undertones were accurate to, like, lore and stuff like that. So, it was... I really, really liked... Um, I really liked everything about this this uh, this movie. And I, I would tell everybody, like, give it a try. You know, wa- watch it. I, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. And I feel like there's a really strong base of people that truly enjoy... Um demonic possession movies anything that has like dark religious tones to it um anything that's kind of like fringy like uh dealing with tones of like maybe body horror but like real body horror like things you can actually do horrifically to yourself um like there's a very big fan base for that and i definitely appreciate that i don't know i don't recall if you said it was february 7th but i said 17th okay good perfect just um, checking so yeah i the, the i it was really good i really liked it and i really think people who like that kind of like you said religious undertone demonic possession it was I, the ending was fantastic. Yeah, the it, ending I of, did not expect it to end like that. Not, it's so hard because I I, I want to talk about stuff in this movie because like there's a lot of stuff that I like but I don't want to give it away. Yeah. So do yourself a favor, watch the trailer, come join us February seventeenth at the Museum of Modern Art in Philadelphia, MoMA. Um, and uh, you know, check out their. We're gonna have their social medias. We're gonna have their web, what their website, their YouTube channel. Everything's gonna be linked in there in the description of this video. Uh, the trailer's gonna be the pinned comment below, and you know, just come out and watch it. I think it's gonna be a great a great time, and um, I can't wait. I'm excited to do the Q and A next month. For sure. And, you know, uh, we've never moderated anything in our lives, so like also a little terrifying, but so like, yeah, if you come out, please be patient with us. We've never moderated, this is something so new for us, so out of our comfort zone that it's gonna be it's gonna be wild, it's gonna and be awesome. Good it's time, it's gonna be a really good time, so good time. I can't wait for that. So, uh, tell them where to find us. You can find uh, these reviews in podcast form. On iTunes, thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. Uh, you can find me at Reanimator Reviews on Facebook. I believe it's just Reanimator on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I haven't done an outro in so long. Just, <laughs> life is very busy right now. Yeah. Well, you can find me on Kick, Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter, all under Repeat Viking. Um, obviously, during the outro, you'll see all the signs and the names and the symbols and everything like that. So, um, also, 
if you are in Philly or Philly adjacent, uh, Jerks Productions does do a lot with Tattooed Mom. And they're always posting stuff, you know, special events, fun things that's going on on their Instagram and on their Facebook. So please keep an eye out for that. We recently got to be part of a series that they did. The I think it was the Kill of the Week. Mm -hmm. And we talked about the horrible um, logging truck scene in Final Destination. The one that has scarred us as a generation. Yeah. So, like, sure. also... Please check out that whole series as well. I've watched the episodes and they're really, really fun. It's just nice to hear people talk about things that like impacted them that they love and, you know, continue to love and enjoy. But yeah, thanks so much. Uh, again, thank you so much to Dirk's Productions for letting us watch this early and we can't wait for February and we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.